Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just making a quick little video to see what other people's thoughts are <clears throat> on things like this in the news. So, as you can see, I typed in on Google 62, the number 62, and I hit the news tab. And we get a whole bunch of stuff that relates to the number 62. Wind speeds reach 62 miles an hour. Okay. One day ago, Stanford romps into Elite 8, 8962. 12 hours ago, which is today, 62 mu musicians predict the 2021 baseball season. 12 hours ago, New Hampshire man, 62 years old, fined $5,000 for hurling racial slurs. Okay, look at this. Randy F. Brown, 62, is probably a story about somebody who's dead at 62. John Gotti, three, returns as Jared Chauvin at CES 62 on April 30th. Buddy Bohemian... Bohemes, Bo, oh, Bohemian, I said, Boheim, miraculous run ends in Sweet 16 with 62 to 46 loss one day ago, which is in time for today. I'll explain the whole 62 thing. If you don't, if you don't realize what I'm doing, basically today can be expressed as 29 slash three, which is the 62nd prime number. So the 29th day of the third month, because we're in March, you know, can be expressed 29 slash 3, which is the 60 second prime number. And that's what I'm doing here. So, uh, six hours ago, you know, number 62, close range one day ago. But see, it's interesting to me, like, even on the next page, you know, like 62 year old pen hook man dies after head on crash. Like, it's just so strange to me. Like, okay, five hours ago, bed minister man busted for child porn. 10 hours ago, Devon Apartment 62 fiercely advocated for children. It's just like, all oh, these numbers, like, I don't know, man. Defeat Dolphins, 80 to 62. See, like, if you know this code of numerology and gamatria, like, it's very easy to see through all this shit. Obviously, there's, like, stories that are older five, six days ago. But it's like, what are the odds of all these stories coming out on a day... 29 slash 3, which is the 62nd prime number. Or even like a day ago, Madonna, 62. Three hours ago, 62-year-old Ocala man nabbed on DUI charge. Let's see what the next page brings. Two weeks ago, two days ago. I'm looking for stuff that's like nine hours ago, 10 hours ago. Even this, 22 hours ago. It's 10.33 where I'm at. So just right in time for today. 62% in England care home residents. I mean, it's just like, all right, one day ago, Missouri, Stanford, 89, Missouri, 62. It's just weird to me. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. But I, I just want to get other people's, uh, you know, brain going. And, uh, you know, leave a comment because I've done videos like this in the past. And, you know, some people say, well, you could type in any number and it'll come up. Sure. I mean, of course, that's true. You could type in 63 and, and there'll be a bunch of 63s. There'll be a bunch of 64s, you know? And I mean, but it's like that every day. Like every single day that I do these stories, it's, it's something. There's a prime number relationship or I guarantee you, if I looked at these guy, these people's names, like the 62 year old man, the head on collision, guarantee you if, you know, I looked his name up and the date on the calendar you know, I kind of want to do it now. It's just crazy, man. Just crazy, man. Let's just look at this guy's name. Let's see. A Seabrook, New Hampshire man. What's his name? Oh, they're hating. Oh, no. John Doran. Well, let me copy it. John Doran. Let's just see. John Doran. Might not be anything. Hmm. 45, 144. Huh. Fifty-two. Hmm. Hmm. That is pretty interesting. There's nothing here. Fifty-two. 
there is nothing here. Wow. Maybe. 62 years old. <laughs> oh, okay, I lied. There is something here. So, like, okay, so you've seen that, like, you know, his name is John Duran. I don't see nothing with that. And there probably, there could be something with it. Who knows? But he's 62 years old. And, you know, uh, the story's about racism, see? Find $5,000 for racial slurs. So, there is something. So, look, John Duran is 99, okay? Let me get back to the 99. 53, 62 years old. <laughs> 53-date numerology, right? Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, if you ask me. And, um... That's the only thing that sticks out as far as that. 62 years old is 53. It's like, what are the odds of that, right? Huh, look at this. Day of the year. Today is the 88th day of the year. So when you take away the S, you get 62-year-old, which is 88. Hmm, pretty interesting, huh? How they do it. Pretty interesting how they do it. I don't think all this is in my head. Hmm. <laughs> 62. Huh. Well, 62 is 61 in reverse ordinal, which is the alphabet backwards, making Z1 all the way to A is 26. John is 61. That's pretty interesting. 62 years old is 53 in the reverse reduction cipher. 53 is the 16th prime, John 16. Huh, interesting. Pretty interesting if you ask me. There could be something with 277. It's the 59th prime number. 59 is the 17th prime number. Although there's a 17 date numerology, I don't think that really matters. I don't see no 17s down here. But again, if you look hard enough, you can find stuff. Uh, you know, just trying to prove a point here. 62 years old. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this. You can't make it up, guys. 62 years old in reverse for reduction is 88, and we're getting the news on the 88 day there. <laughs> I mean, I just, like, I can't help to find this shit funny. It's, it's kind of fucking funny. At this point in the game, you know, how long is the PSYOP going to go on? You take away the S, 62 year old is 73. And look at, what do you know? Hmm. 73. So I guess when you spell out people's name, their, their name gematria or numerology doesn't always pop up on the dates on the calendar. But when you spell out their birthday, like, you know, with letters and numbers, like, for instance, how I just showed you for the last five minutes, it seems like we get um, things that pop. And it's like, okay, you know, what are the odds of the 73, the 88, you know? 53, I mean, I don't know, guys, but I just randomly checked this particular thing just to see, and I know, I knew something was going to happen, because I, I do this all the time, and it's nothing new to me, but in case people were doubting this knowledge, or they think this is like some CIA calculator, or, you know, I, I've heard so much bullshit, it's just funny. You know, the calculator's not a CIA calculator. It's it's a very simple program that was created by somebody who doubted the work, and now they got their own channel, and it just makes everyone's decoding life easier. But um, I do I do honestly believe for our language, the English language, you know, this is obviously what it is. I don't you know I don't think that we need any more of this. You know, four ciphers is good. I mean, you know. If you really want to, you know, put the Jewish cipher in and maybe one other cipher, single reduction maybe. But other than that, I wouldn't um, put too many more. So that's what I've learned in the last year. So um, I think I'm going to leave it at that only because there really isn't anything else to really show. 
Um, but I did want to share that with you guys. So, you know, these news stories, man. A Seabrook, New Hampshire, man. I guarantee you, this is probably gematria to that. New Hampshire probably equals something. I just don't want to continue on because it's not really an important story. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, it is important in the time of when people are being racist. You know, racism, again, like I was telling you earlier, racism's 99, and the guy that's named John Doran's 99 and 45. Racism, 99, 45. So, um, I, I guess that's kind of important. You know, even if the news is fake, you know, it's it's the point. You know, like, you know, even if this is a fake story, the, the message is still kind of like, you know, solid because, you know, people shouldn't be out here saying race, racial uh, slurs, you know? So, I mean, it, you know, it's good to, it's good to at least be promoting some positivity. Okay. You're going to be ignorant and be racist. Then you're going to get fined. But I don't think the story is real because look at the gematria behind it. Unless they're doing the gematria on people and, you know, <laughs> I don't know. You know, maybe they're waiting to certain days of the year to set these people up and they're like, okay, this guy, John Doran, he's, you know, maybe they knew he was racist for, you know, 11 months, but they had to wait until March or something, you know, because his name and all this other stuff, you know, so who knows? Maybe there was a case that popped up last year where, you know, he was outside of a Walmart screaming something racist, you know, and now they are deciding to release the story because of uh, the numerology or whatever, whatever's going on here. But uh, that's my thoughts on this. And, um, you know, I'd like to hear some comments from uh, like-minded people, if there are any left out there. I know there's a few people that follow me who are great and I love the comments. So we need to get more comments and get the conversation started. You know, there's nothing to it. Share Gematria, share the channel, share my channel, share Zach's work, Shakozy. Share all the people out here who are trying to get the word out. Do your part.